What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 video and today I bring awesome news because finally after so much long time the new version of Unreal Engine 5.1 just released the other day. I have been experimenting with it and play around so today I want to highlight the newest features that are the most amazing basically. So with no further ado, let's get started. Alright so first of all we have new improvements for Lumen, the Unreal Engine Dynamic Global Illumination System. Basically now it supports two sided foliage materials. Now this is quite cool because finally after so much time we can make our leaves look more like leaves basically and not so much uh, like opaque um, so yeah this will basically um, you know improve a lot like for example forests jungles things like that so definitely cool stuff over here also the software ray tracing is now more accurate than ever and uh, now there's not going to be so much of a uh, different glitches over there and this noise that sometimes appeared before so definitely there's some improvements over there also, the high quality translucency uh, reflections have been improved again. Now, the Lumen Reflections supports the single water layers, um, basically like a mirror into the water. This is really cool because now well, water will reflect in a more realistic way than before. So that's also good. And overall, the performance has improved a lot. Um, now, basically, in consoles, there's a target around 60 FPS that wasn't achieved before. So that's definitely some good news. Okay, moving on into Nanite. Now, finally, after so, so, so much time and waiting for this thing, Nanite now supports foliage as trees, bushes, etc. I'm really, really excited about this. I just made a tutorial about this, so check it out. I will leave it the link in the description. So if you want to make your trees, bushes, etc., uh, compatible with Nanite, go ahead and look at the video below. Now we can finally implement this, as now Nanite supports two satin materials and masks blend materials too. So um, you know, before the leaves were you know two-sided normally and uh, mask blend materials, you know the leaves uh, were masked um, around the ones just a normal plane. So uh, that was mainly issue that that's why you know, Nanite couldn't work on trees and stuff. And also wall position offset. You know, as the leaves basically moved, well Nanite couldn't handle that but now it can now in the wall building improvements or well now h lots now support for water rendering and streaming which is this is huge if you had a um big 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 uh you know world with this new uh unreal engine ocean plugin and now basically it will separate into different pieces and different uh, level of details and basically it will improve performance once again much more now the default world extents are now Improved from 22 kilometers to 88 million kilometers, which is absolutely amazing. This will allow much larger worlds to be basically built and created. This is absolutely incredible. <laughs> you know, this is a big improvement from 22 kilometers to 88 kilometers. This is amazing. So yeah, definitely um, huge worlds and planets will now be able to be built in Unreal Engine. Now we have a new physics control component, which is very similar to the previous physical animations component that I basically use a lot for my games in Unreal Engine. But now this is just a simple and very advanced way of just adding physical interactions into your own skeletal meshes. You can really see it here clearly how um, kind of as the vehicle moves, the um, you know skeletal meshes is playing the normal animation, but what with physics and on top of them, which just makes it look so so cool. You can also see it very clearly here how um, as he's hanging the left one uh, actually interacts with the object that is basically you know pushing it backwards and then here as the player you know carries the other one it starts moving you know, the arms torso the head and the legs as it will actually interacting with the environment so for me that's basically the overall most innovative features in 5.1 but of course there's so many more as you know new features in control rig new features in the sound world of unreal engine and uh, clothing rendering and deformation for skeletal meshes so there's a lot to touch in but this was just a quick video to just inform you of the top uh, features that i in my opinion are in the new 5.1 so with all that said if you found this video helpful i really appreciate it. you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine tutorials as this one if you have any other unreal engine 5 videos you want to see tutorials let me know in the comments in the description and i guess we all said bye bye